Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing customization number four for the FabFitFun Summer 2023 spoilers. It's looking like this is definitely my last video before annuals customize. Obviously the next two categories only annuals can customize. So if you guys want me to still do those videos sometime the week after customization, I will still do them because I already have a bunch of the research, but there's just no way that I can film it. It takes over an hour to film each video and then edit. It could take one to two hours to edit the video and I just don't have that much time. Someone sent me a message after, I don't even know which video number, I was like, oh, you have so many days left. You're definitely gonna get them all. There, I have a full-time job, eight to five, and often work after five. And then I have my own business and shipping starts for my own business as well. So I have to start shipping like 400 boxes myself. I pack and ship them all myself. And I just have to give priority to everything. So I can't always just only focus on my YouTube channel. If I had nothing else, I definitely could get the other videos in, but I'm squeezing in time whenever I have time. So unfortunately, I think this will be the last video. So you can, at the end of this video, let me know what product you were gonna select in this category, or you can let me know if you really still wanna see video five and six. I know five is a pretty small category. I thought I could squeeze it in, but it's just really not looking like I'm going to. The first product in customization number four is from Briogeo. I love this brand. Also, all of their products smell super good. This one is their Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture 3 in 1 Spray for $25. You get 5.75 ounces. Briogeo is a cruelty free brand and also a vegan brand. So, the two ingredients it's named after are avocado and kiwi. The first one is avocado oil. I've mentioned this in videos before, but avocado oil is an oil that can actually penetrate the hair shaft. There aren't too many oils that can do that, so it's actually moisturizing and nourishing from the inside out. And then, so that's a moisturizing ingredient. Then we have the kiwi fruit extract. That has a lot of antioxidants and vitamins, and it's really good at promoting hair growth. So those are the two naming ingredients, but there's a lot of other good ingredients in it as well. There's aloe leaf juice, that's a soothing ingredient, really great for skincare, but also good for scalp care. So you're putting this all over your hair, including your scalp, and it's really good at hydrating both your hair and your scalp. The next ingredient is panthenol, vitamin B5. It's really good at strengthening your hair or providing elasticity, so reduces breakage, basically. That's kind of the same thing as strengthening, I guess, but elasticity is just, you know what I mean, being able to move it around and not break it. I'm not good with words, but you know what I mean. The next one is a spinach leaf extract. That's full of a lot of iron, also really full of vitamins, really good also for hair growth. There's biotin, which strengthens your hair follicles, also another good ingredient for hair growth. Also has rosemary leaf extract, another really good ingredient that promotes hair growth. So a lot of hair growth ingredients. This one has sunflower seed oil, another oil that's really good at hydrating, and then one more hair growth ingredient, spirulina maxima extract. It again provides the vitamins and minerals that help promote hair growth, healthy hair growth. The reviews for this product is 4.1 with 369 reviews. And for positives, moisturization or soft hair, there was also some about the scent being like a nice scent. Some people did see they saw improvement over long-term use, like better looking hair or healthier hair or stronger hair. Some of those hair growth in minerals and vitamins that I talked about, basically the work that they're doing. A lot of people saw that. Also, they said it was easy to use. It's a 3 one spray, you just kind of spray it on damp hair. There's not really anything hard to use about it. I don't know what 3 in one spray isn't easy to use though. For a negative, some people thought that it was heavy or greasy. Some said they didn't see any results. I definitely saw more that said they saw results than that didn't see results, but there were several people that said they didn't see any results even with long-term use. The last negative was about the packaging or nozzle and just saying that it got clogged too easily or that it wasn't properly working. I think even one person mentioned that theirs wasn't working or like right when they got it. So the next product, also from Briogeo, also still has these like natural fruit ingredients in it. This one is banana and coconut wave spray. So it's a texture spray, soft wave texture spray. Also $25, also 5.75 ounces. This one again, vegan, cruelty free. The whole brand is vegan, cruelty free. For ingredients on this one, and it's the same thing, kind of spray. This time you're scrunching your hair after you spray it so that it creates that pattern that it'll hold, but Basically same thing, just spray on your hair, damp hair, scrunch this one up, and then you're good to go. 
for ingredients on this product it also has that aloe leaf juice like second ingredient right away really good like I said for soothing your skin soothing your scalp and then also moisturizing your hair and scalp for the naming ingredients there's banana peel extract really good at nourishing hair and then coconut fruit extract really good at moisturizing your hair and then it also has some other extracts so it has a pineapple extract which has enzymes that help exfoliate your scalp so natural enzymes that kind of eat away at the dead skin if you want to think about it that way <laughs> and that helps exfoliate your scalp that helps promote hair growth it has papaya extract as well which does the same thing it has some enzymes really good for exfoliating your scalp and promoting healthy hair growth the ingredient that i think is causing the structure is silica it's kind of like a it's not actually silicone silica and silicone are definitely different but it provides texture to your hair so i think that's what's causing that wave is having that silica in it this one also has turmeric root extract another really good scalp healthy scalp ingredient and then it has mango juice which is another good hydrating nourishing ingredient for your hair so it looks like it has a ton of these hydrating ingredients in addition to the texturizing ingredients so it's probably promoting some healthy hair while you're getting that texture as well for reviews on this one it has 4.3 stars with 304 reviewers and a lot of people did say it really worked at that texturizing at making those waves or some people had like it depends on your curl pattern, obviously, what kind of waves you're going to get from a texturizing spray, but some people had like beachy waves, some people found more texture and definition to their curls that they already have. Also on the positives, the scent, and it just being a lovely, lightly fruity scent, although some of the negatives mentioned it was not light and it was too strong, but we'll get to the negatives in a second. The last one was that it wasn't leaving their hair crunchy, which is really important with a texturizing spray, because sometimes you get like the look that you want but then the feel isn't nice and you don't want to touch your hair and it not feel good so there were positives that it was not giving that crunchy feel i also saw several say that it worked for fine hair most of the time you don't see that with a texturizing spray especially because they're kind of heavy this one seems to work fine with fine hair i saw multiple people it wasn't like a trend in the positives like oh my gosh but it was multiple that said had positive reviews and they said they had the fine hair type so I just wanted to mention that there's also positives that it didn't dry out hair which is pretty common for a texturizing spray and then also that it didn't weigh down hair which is probably why it's working for those people with thin hair the negatives was that the scent was too strong or that they didn't like the scent overpowering kind of words like that and then some people said that the the curl pattern or wave or whatever they got wasn't as long lasting so in comparison I think to maybe some other texture sprays this one does say soft wave so I'm wondering if maybe they're trying to alert you of that like yeah you're gonna have moisturized hair but maybe it's not gonna last like 12 hours or so I don't even know how long a texturizing spray should last but there were enough reviews saying that they didn't really hold as long as they the expectation for hold wasn't met the next part is from a brand I'd never heard before Gloasis and this is their probiotic and triple peptide refreshing eye cream for 48 dollars msrp and you get 0.67 ounces this is a cruelty free and vegan brand this one's also sulfate free as well and paraben free this brand is fairly new they launched in 2021 so really really new brand i love actually seeing new skincare like this in boxes because it gives me a chance to try out a brand that i maybe otherwise wouldn't this brand is also really good on sustainability, eco-friendly packaging, recyclable, like all of that stuff, which I love on this channel as well, in addition to being cruelty-free. So I don't really have a need for an eye cream right now. I actually have one I haven't even used yet, but we'll see. We'll see if this ends up in my box just because I would like to try new brands. For ingredients, this has something called lactobacillus ferment. All you need to know it's a vegan probiotic this brand is vegan or this product is definitely vegan i think the whole brand was vegan also when i looked it up but for sure this product is vegan and it is a vegan probiotic that kind of like restructures and keeps your you know your microbiome on your face acting right this also has sorbitan olivate and ceterol olivate which together create olivum 1000 this is one of my favorite moisturizing ingredients ever 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 and if you've watched my channel before you know that i'm obsessed with it i had some like ridiculously dry spots on my hand for a while just like really bad skin and it i found that ingredient started using it regularly and it just like completely moisturized something that other lotions and moisturizers were not working on so whenever i see it in ingredients list now i'm like this is my moisturizing powerhouse it works really really well it also has niacinamide really good at evening skin tone and texture 
It's vitamin B3, niacinamide. It also has three forms of hyaluronic acid. So it has hyaluronic acid, sodium hyaluronate, and hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. This is hyaluronic acid at three different molecular weights. So it's gonna penetrate your skin at different levels. And then it pulls moisture in from that olive 1000 or anything you put on top of it. So if you're putting moisturizer on top of it, that helps too. And it pulls that in and plumps your skin from within at different levels. So my favorite is sodium hyaluronate. I think that's the best level for anti-aging, providing that plumping, you know, to reduce those fine lines from within. Regular hyaluronic acid sitting on top of your face, it's still surface level, but it is going to increase the moisture surface level as well. This product is honestly full of so many good ingredients. I, like I said, I don't need an eye cream, but I just love their ingredients list. This has three types of peptides. That's why it's called tripeptide. I'm gonna read them because I don't, I didn't feel like memorizing them, but it's palmitol tripeptide five. So that's a peptide that stimulates collagen production. The next one is acetyl octopeptide three. I'm not sure if I'm even saying these right. I don't even know why I'm reading them. I should just post them up on screen, but this is a peptide that helps reduce the appearance of fine lines. Almost all of these are anti-aging, by the way. The last one is palmitol tripeptide. So same as the first ingredient, but this is dash one instead of dash five. And that's gonna increase the firmness, elasticity of your skin. So three forms of hyaluronic acid, three types of peptides, all that have to do with anti-aging, uh, niacinamide, and all of them 1000, literally my favorite moisturizing ingredient. Like they really got me so far. In addition to that, it also has hydrolyzed collagen. They say it's a plant-based collagen. Also has ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. So this is probably the part where I will lose some people. Vitamin C, especially in the form of ascorbic acid, is not sensitive skin friendly. So just in case anyone has severely sensitive skin, I don't know how much of this product or how much of this vitamin C is in the product, but vitamin C is known to be irritating, especially in this form. It's kind of a potent form of vitamin C and you're putting it in your eye area. So that might be the deal breaker for some people. I luckily do not have sensitive skin, so I'm still looking at this product. Not only does it have all of that, like honestly, this I feel like this product, like I made this product. It has caffeine and green tea extract, which I love, especially for under eyes. That's gonna depuff your eyes. Also, if you have dark circles, it helps with dark circles as well. Like honestly, I feel like I created this product. Also has cucumber and aloe, so some soothing ingredients that go right there. Really, really good, ingre really good ingredients list for me. Really, there aren't any reviews, so that is the hard part for me, is I can't see how it's working with people's skin. I like to see those reviews before I get something, so that's part of where I'm a maybe on this product. And you don't know whether it's sensitive skin friendly or not. We do see an ingredient that is typically not sensitive skin friendly. That doesn't mean that you're gonna have a reaction to it, but there's a lot of risk because there's really not any reviews letting us know how does it react actually on the skin. I like the ingredients list, so you might see it in my box. We'll see. We'll see when the unboxing day comes. Moving on to the next product, and I'm sure I'm gonna say this wrong, but I think it's Malin and Goats. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But it is their Rum Hand and Body Wash. 8.5 ounces for this one, $26 retail value, also cruelty-free and vegan. This one has me intrigued as well. It has 11 amino acids, 11 amino acids that are really good for, you know, keeping your skin in its healthiest condition and keeping it really hydrated. My main issue is that fragrance is so high. I care less about that for body and hand care than face care, but I also just like, I feel like it's unnecessary to have fragrance as like the fourth or fifth ingredient. I don't actually remember where it was. Um, I could pull up an ingredients list, but we don't have time for that. So you could look it up, but it's pretty high up on the ingredients list in my opinion for any kind of skin product. For reviews, this one has a 4.4 with 2,624 reviewers. And this one has pretty good reviews. A lot of people love the scent or said it was refreshing. It's sometimes described as like a light fruity scent. And then some people really liked how easy it lathered or easy to use, um, you only need a small amount type of deal. And there were several reviews that said it cleaned your skin but still left it feeling moisturized. And I actually feel like that's, with all those amino acids, that makes sense. However, in the negatives, there were a few that said it was very drying. And it does have sodium C14, 16, you'll see, I think it's the second ingredient on this list, second or third ingredient on this list. That is known to be kind of a drying, 
cleanser. It's It works really well. It leaves you feeling really, really clean. But I think some of the other ingredients counteract that. So I think it looks like based on the ingredients, there's a good balance, but there's reviews on both sides. There's reviews that say that it leaves your skin moisturized even after it cleans it. And there's some that say it's a little bit drying. So it might just have to do with your particular skin type. We all have different skin types, but the rest of the negative reviews were really just that it's too expensive, which when we have it in a box, we're actually getting it for way less than its retail value. But yeah, it's too expensive for just getting 8.5 ounces. The next product is from my Tagalongs and it's a digital travel like luggage scale. So you basically wrap it around your luggage. You hold it in the air. You hit the little tear or whatever. I don't know, weigh my product thing and it tells you what your luggage weighs. If you travel a lot this might be important. I actually travel so much that I feel like I just have it down to an art now. Like I know exactly how much I can stuff in each size luggage that I already have and still be underneath the weight requirement but in case you are not an expert in that um, as you're not really expected to be or if you just travel so infrequently and you want to just make sure you're not going to get charged extra for that bag because some airlines charge extra if you have, most airlines actually charge extra if your bag is too heavy. But this is helpful to just, you know, cross that off your list. How many pounds is it? We're good to go. Let's go to the airport. This product I really didn't find very much information on. There's no reviews or anything else about it. It's kind of like a rosy pink color. You're probably seeing it over here. It does require a lithium battery, but it says it's included on their site. So it's probably included in our box as well. I don't know what it costs to replace that battery though, or if it's one that's like easy to find. I didn't really look it up to be honest. The next product is the Sea and Grass Straw Visor with Ribbon. This is a $35 retail value for dimensions. It is eight 8.67, so let's clip it right here. 8.67 by 8.67, so I'm assuming that is the diameter. And then a little under four inches, 3.94 inches right here. I did find a smaller one of these, which is really helpful, uh, is the last measurement there. 3.4, there we go. It says it's made 100% of paper, so I guess straw is paper. I don't know why I never knew that or thought that, but it's called a straw ribbon hat. It, the ribbon's obviously not made of paper, but the rest of the hat is made of paper. Also, the website talks about the products being ethically sourced and made in Southeast Asia, which I think is really cool. And they have a little bit of a give back story as well if you go check out their website for this brand. The next product is a diffuser in the scent Bamboo. It's from Stone Candles and it's a hanging scent diffuser. It is four inches tall by three inches and you have to hang it. You can't set it down somewhere because it's ceramic, but it's infused with essential oils and the essential oils resting on a surface could like leach into the other surface or is it the other way? I don't know, but you don't want to get the oils on your cabinets or counters or dresser or anything like that. So you want to leave it hanging. You could put it in your closets or pretty much anywhere you want to smell nice in the bathroom. It's a really good alternative to candles. Candles obviously have an open flame. And so if you have pets or anything like that, you can't just leave a candle running. You also can't leave a candle going when you're not home. That's not safe, fire safety. Uh, so this is a nice way to increase that beautiful scent, bamboo in this case. I don't know what I feel about bamboo scent. What does everyone else think about bamboo scent? I've only really had skincare in bamboo scent and it's not my favorite. I don't hate it, but it's just like, I don't know. I like fruity scents, so that's probably why. Bamboo is kind of a clean scent, but yeah, it's a good long lasting way to diffuse that scent in your room. I think this is a really cool product. It does have reviews 4.0, which isn't the best, but not the worst for 159 reviewers. A lot of people liked the scent or that it was easy to use, easy to hang. Some people also said it was very beautiful or you know, like it looked pretty. So that's nice as well. I feel like most diffusers look pretty though because it's home decor. And then there were some negative reviews about, oh, there was also a positive reviews that it was a long lasting set. The negative reviews were about refilling it. So I guess pouring the essential oils, you, I think you set it on a plate if I remember correctly, and then it absorbs and then you don't let it touch anything for a while after and then you rehang it. Well, apparently it took way too much oil to refill it or some people just had issues refilling it. So the refilling was an issue and in the positives people said it was long lasting, but then there was negative saying they had to refill it too often. So maybe the scent once it's diffused is long lasting, but the actual product has to be replenished often. I'm not hundred percent sure or just you know, people have different expectations and some people had their expectation exceeded and some had it not met. Um, also, some people thought the scent was too strong. This bamboo scent was too strong or that it was just something that they didn't like. 
And then there was some, I think two reviewers, so not a crazy amount, but enough that I should mention it, that it leaked. And so there was some damage from this oil leaking. So just be careful where you put it, check it a few times, you know, when you first put it somewhere, check it, make sure it's not leaking anywhere so you don't get like your wood floor or something messed up. That's it. That's all your products in category four. This video is super, super long already, and I'm going to do a lot of editing to get it to you on time. I'm sorry I'm not getting five and six done. I really did try my best. I thought I was going to get to five, honestly. We did way better than we did last time. Last time we only got one video, and next time maybe we'll do better than we did this time. It's hard because the dates for FabFitFun spoilers land pretty much exactly on the dates for my own company. So I have my own company, uh, my own small business, not company, but small business or company. I don't know. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk down about it. And my shipping lines up exactly with spoilers. So it's pretty difficult for me to be doing both at the same time. And shipping is just, I have to prioritize my customers. So this is going to be the last video so I can make sure that I get all those boxes out when I said I was going to get them out. As always, I appreciate your comments down in the comment section below. I do think they are really, really helpful for YouTube channels and videos in general. And I would love to have conversations with you. Let me know what you're picking. Let me know how you feel about not getting video five or six in a positive way, or if you still want to see it. Some people are like, even if I pick something, I still want to know the things you read about it. So uh, I did get a couple of subscribers that said that, you know, like, even if I end up picking something, you sometimes tell me something that I didn't know before, Jess, and I would love to hear that. So I'm happy to share the information as I have time to share it. So please comment down below any comment. I appreciate so, so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.